What's up everyone, Ninth Jim here back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video and today marks the first day of our DLC Isle of Armor introducing a bunch of really good Pokemon much like Amoongus, one of the most hyped up Pokemon once we saw that it was going to be released. This Pokemon has been an absolute monster in multiple years of VGC and for good reason. It's a very bulky, pretty solid, great typing, great ability, sleep machine. Yeah, a sleep machine. It has Spore, which gives it a 100% accuracy, which is just amazing. Um, so yeah, let's talk about it. So, Grass Poison typing is pretty solid, giving us 5 resistances of Water, Electric, Grass, Fighting, and Fairy, which is very strong. But it also gives us 4 big weaknesses of, we of uh, Fire, Ice, Flying, and Psychic. All 4 are pretty prevalent, mostly Fire, Ice, and Flying. We don't see too much Psychic, but it is there. Um, we see a couple of big attacks here, like, uh, you know, Charizard being really, really powerful, getting through any defense with fire. We have a bunch of fire Pokemon, Incineroar and Arcanine being two of the biggest ones, although we can EV ourselves out to have not the worst matchup with those Pokemon. We also have Ice Pokemon like Lapras hitting off uh, first turn max Hailstorms, and I know it's not Hailstorm, I can't think of what it is. Resonance. And then we also have Max Airstreams being fired off left and right from things like Drag uh, Dragapult that isn't even really like a flying guy. It just has Max Airstream. So honestly, it's not the best typing, but it's not bad. It gives us five resistances, which is really good. Then we also into our stats. So as far as our stats go, we are actually very bulky. HP 114, uh, Defense 70, and Special Defense 80. Both of those are like all right. They're average, below average, but HP 4 114 is pretty solid. And with EVs, we actually hit a really solid um, bulk, which is very good. And then as far as attacking goes, we're at 85 special attack or attack, which is fine. And then speed 30, which makes it good under Trick Room. And when you're not under Trick Room, you're just a sleep machine. We also have the ability Regenerator, which is very good whenever it switches out of battle. Up to 33.3% of its maximum hit points are restored, which is very, very good for this Pokemon being able to switch out and uh, be able to heal out, which is really cool. We also use things like berries and uh, other stuff to heal, and in singles it can be very, very, very powerful as well. So anyway, that's going to be it for our overview. Let's go ahead and talk about the move set itself. So as far as our ability goes, we're using Regenerator, of course. Um, you know, like I was saying, it's probably its best ability. And then we also have the item Figgy Berry, which is just a good berry. Uh, the Pinch Berries, you know, any of them, Wiki, Aguav, any of those berries can be very good for this Pokemon. There's a lot of hits that um, bring us to that Pinch Berry range. And, uh, you know, we might transform to using Citrus Berry with a little bit of uh, the Pinch Berry nerf, but we'll see as the meta goes on. So, a couple of other uh, options you can use for an item. You could use Focus Sash, which is really strong for certain EVs, but, uh, you know, like max moves and so on and so forth. And, uh... It's a good option. And then we also have Koba Berry and Aka Berry, them both giving us uh, super effect or resistance from super effective attacks of flying and fire. Both are really solid and uh, great options as well. So as far as our moves, so the reason Amoongus has been so powerful is mostly due to it having Rage Powder and Spore on a bulky Pokemon that has Regenerator. It's pretty solid. Uh, it's a very solid equation of making a grass type Pokemon very strong, very bulky. Um, having Rage Powder is really good, being able to soak up an attack or two. If you don't know what Rage Powder is, it's Follow Me. And the most used Pokemon right now is Togekiss, mostly due to its Follow Me. Not only due to it, it's also like, you know, Super Luck, Togekrit. But still, Follow Me is very good, and Rage Powder is the same, so Amoongus has that, which is very good. It also has um, an attack called Spore, which is 100% accurate Sleep Powder insanely powerful doesn't work on grass type pokemon though so keep that in mind but still so sports like it's insanely powerful so then we also have energy ball and protect uh you used to use grass knot for your attack you still can but it like keep in mind that it won't do any damage to dynamax pokemon so that's why we're using energy ball instead so that's about it for our set and then of course protect so rage powder and spore mostly and then the stab move and then also protect which is good into our flex moves, things that you can switch around. Um, so first off, you have Toxic, which is really good for wearing down walls. It's much better in singles, but it is still a solid move in VGC as well. Um, so Toxic can be used. Um, and then, like I said, Grass Knot also is another option instead of Energy Ball, but you won't be able to hit Dynamax Pokemon, which is unfortunate. And then we also have Pollen Puff, which is good. It can heal as well as deal out a little bit of damage. And then also Clear Smog to give off a haze effect of lowering the stats that have been gained from opposing Pokemon, which is very, very good. Um, mostly, you know, hitting things like uh, Weakness Policy Pokemon 
or uh, you know, like Iron Defense, like Corviknight or something. There's a bunch of things that Clear Smog works really well against. Anyway, that's out uh, it for about the moves. Let's go ahead and talk about some EVs real quick. So we went 236 in HP, 76 off of defense, and then 196 plus on special defense. Now this was used in the past as well, uh, mostly to you know live an Incineroar um, Flare Blitz, which is very good. Um, one of the most used Pokemon, or one of the most used Pokemon, and one of the use, most used Fire Pokemon as well. Uh, it's just very strong to be able to live that uh, Flare Blitz guaranteed, which is good. And then it also is really good against a lot of random things, like even Togekiss, um, Max Airstream, it can be very good against. There's a lot of um, damage cogs that this just lives. So that's a good option as well. Um, and then Sassy Nature, giving it plus special defense and minus speed. Just making it as fast, uh, or not as fast, as bulky as possible while being as slow as possible. We also want zero IVs for speed, just so that we can always be the fastest under Trick Room. We outspeed a lot of good things, and we'll talk about speed uh, speed tiers here in just one moment. So, as far as our synergetic Pokemon go, um, we have Incineroar. Really, it's just the ability Intimidate, <clears throat> but using uh, the Incineroar, we also have the start to a really strong Fire, Water, Grass core of Amoongus, Incineroar, and then, you know, blank water Pokemon. But it can be really powerful for um, that as a strong core. And then we also have Intimidate to just uh, keep Amoongus alive. You also have Snarl and Parting Shot available for the Incineroar. Typically, it'll have Parting Shot. Really just, like, you know, maximize on damage and manipulation and keep Amoongus alive. So, next we also have Excadrill. And Excadrill is very strong in theory using Max Quake and Max Steel Spike to keep Amoongus very, very healthy. You switch out... Um, a lot but also it is kind of interesting that when you work on uh, damage manipulation on your own then Amoogus doesn't really get to use as much of its regenerator so it is a powerful combo but you also you know don't have that recovery so maybe it's not the best but it is still really good being able to supplement your own defense and special defense um, with Amoogus so that's cool anyway that's gonna be it for our synergetic Pokemon and the build in general um, let's go ahead and move on to some speed tiers so here at speed tiers we're at speed tier 31 I said speed tiers like five times there speed tier 31 we're on the same speed tier as Reuniclus which is okay 31 is not great it's not bad um, for, uh, con you know, considering uh, Truck Room Pokemon, we outspeed about half of the most used, but we are outsped by half of the most used as well. So once Trick Room is set, we're outspeeding a lot of really good Pokemon like Clefairy, Rhydon, uh, or Rhyperior, Gastrodon, Conkledur, and then uh, even like Super Size Geist. But then you also, you know, after Trick Room is set, Dusclops, Torkoal, Ferrothorn, Hatterene are all outspeeding us. Um, Torkoal is really bad to get outsped by because it's going to just be blowing you out with Eruption very, very hard. It's, it's just really hard to, like, keep up with Torkoal. But, you know, you set uh, Trick Room at the right time. You can use this Pokemon on a Trick Room team or just use it on your team. And then, uh, you know, the Trick Room players without Torkoal are kind of scared of it. So, yeah, it, it could be really good. So, I like it at this speed tier. It's, it's pretty solid. Let's go ahead and move on to some damage calculations. So as far as our damage calcs go, first off we have Dynamax, Max Airstream from Togekiss, Max Invested Togekiss, but uh, this isn't off of a crit or anything. We it is hitting 84 to 90, uh, 84 to 99 percent, which is very good. It guarantees that we live a Max Airstream, so guaranteed to a KO, and then you figgy berry up, and then you can regenerate her, and then you're sitting back at like 70 percent, um, and then most likely out of its Dynamax turn. So it gives it a uh, pretty good matchup against Togekiss when it looks like it should be really really bad speaking of only hitting 99% we also have that flare blitz from Incineroar hitting 84.9 to 99.5 the exact same uh, damage calc hitting a guaranteed 2 KO and then we figgy berry up and then we switch out and then we're back up to 70% so it really helps against those certain bad matchups it makes them kind of amazing so next we have Arcanine um, Heat Wave from a Max Invested. It typically won't be Max Invested for a support special attacking Arcanine, but if it is, um, then it's only hitting 44 to 52. And then that doesn't put us in our Figgy Berry range, but that would be amazing for Citrus Berry, um, but we're not using Citrus Berry. It is a good option though. Um, and then next we have Dynamax Dragapult hitting off a Max Airstream, Max Invested. The most amount of damage that Dragapult is typically going to be doing. You know, unless it's like weakness policy or something, it's always going to be hitting a guaranteed uh, Oko off of Max Airstream. Hitting one, uh, 100 to 118%, which is a guaranteed Oko, which is really unfortunate. You can run Koba Berry. This is one of the big reasons why Koba Berry would be amazing. 
but we're not using it on this set. Anyway, next we have Lapras, Max Hailstorm into an Amoongus. This is only hitting 61 to 73 off of a Max Invested Special Attack Lapras Max Resonance, not just Hailstorm. Um, it does the same damage, but still. Uh, yeah, we are guaranteed living it 61 to 73%. That's enough to where if you switch back out with Regenerator, you'll most likely heal, um, you know, max life, um, which is very good. Next, we have Amoongus Energy Ball into Pre Marina. I wanted to show off one offensive damage calc just to show that, you know, it does enough damage to certain attackers, um, but, you know, probably not going to be relying on this Pokemon for that. It's mostly, like I said, a Sleep Machine or a Rage Powder Machine, but still very good. Um, you know, we can have 42 to 51% damage on a bulky Primarina, a max HP Primarina. So that's pretty good. It gives us a really small chance to two hit, two hit KO, and we probably won't. But, you know, it has Life Orb um, damage a lot of the time. Life Orb is the most used for Primarina, so we might be able to get by. Anyway, that's going to be it for our damage calc. So let's go ahead and move on to Single Spotlight real quick. So, first off, for Single Spotlight, we are still using the ability Regenerator. It's much power. It's much too powerful not to use. It's great in this, uh, in singles, because with Rocky Helmet and Red Regenerator, you're very slow, so we're hit taking a lot of hits and activating Rocky Helmet a lot. Um, if you don't know what Rocky Helmet does, essentially, it's like the spikes damage that um, you see on, uh, like, Ferrothorn or, like, Rough Skin, where they just take a little bit of damage. I think it's one-sixth. Um, which is a good bit of damage and then you just regenerate her out and then switch around so it's really good and then heal off a lot of damage we have spore still of course we have giga drain for also for um some heal we also have toxic and clear smog toxic being able to wear down those wally -E pokemon and then clear smog also just being able to stop those setup pokemon from you know playing the game we're EV'd out defensively instead of uh, special defensive because Intimidate is less frequently going to be affecting our opponent's Pokemon. So we went for the uh, you know physical defensive instead. So what we did was 252 HP, 176 plus defense keep being bo that bold nature, and then 80 special defense. So that we're just EV out, EV'd out to take a lot of uh, you know head-on attacks with physical Pokemon. And our special defense is really solid, um, you know, right off the bat. So with 80, you know, we, we get pretty good. Anyway, that's going to be it for... Oh, and by the way, this is a level 100 spread, so you might want to change this if you're going to use level 50 on, like, battle ranked. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what Pokemon you're most excited for in the DLC down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys, and maybe that'll influence the order in which my guides come out. You never know. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, leave a like and subscribe. It means so much to me. And then also go and follow my Discord. Jump in my uh, Discord. We have a nice little community there where we talk about competitive stuff and raid and trade. And it's a, it's a good time. So if you like Pokemon, if you like Pokemon Sword and Shield, jump in that. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great next two months and goodbye.